hello everyone welcome to this channel in this particular tutorial we would be simulating the full adder circuit using the half adder symbol the half adder symbol is developed or simulated using the NOR gates and the NOR gates are simulated using the PMOS and NMOS transistor with the help of BSIM model. So before going into this tutorial, I request you to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Now you can see that this particular circuit represents the half adder schematic. Now we have to convert this particular half adder schematic into a symbol. So we have to define the input pins. So in this particular tutorial we will define this particular input as A and define and place this particular input on the schematic window. Click escape, click on the label net and define this input as B and place this on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click on wire and connect the label net A to the inputs respective inputs. Now click on label net and type sum and click this as port type as output and place across the output which is the sum and next place the output pin as carry and place across the circuit as shown. Now this particular must be converted into a symbol. So let us save this particular schematic in the folder where we have a NOR gate and also we have a half adder schematic. Now click on file and click on save as now save this particular schematic as half adder underscore yes so s we represent s as a symbol okay so let us save this as half adder underscore yes and this particular schematic must be placed where we have saved the nor gate schematic okay so now click on hierarchy and click on create a new symbol now in this particular symbol draw a rectangle and then we have to add the pin port so in this particular example we have to place two input pins and two output pins so click on add port and define the label as a and define the pin label justification as bottom and place this so similarly we have to do for pin a pin b sum and the carry Now click on line and connect the pin that is pin A to the other end of the rectangle 
Similarly, we have to connect all the pins to the other end of the rectangle as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click on draw and click on text. Now since this represents the half adder, so type the text as half adder and we can call this particular half adder symbol. So say this particular symbol and save this particular symbol in the library section of LD Spice folder and I have a separate folder for my own customized symbol. So save this as half underscore adder underscore yes. This particular half underscore adder underscore yes must match the schematic name which we had saved or else when you do the particular simulation and when you call this particular symbol for the simulation of full adder we will end up getting error so the naming of the symbol and the schematic must match now place this particular two half adder as shown in this particular tutorial Now click on wire and connect the carry of half adder 1 to the input B. Next click on components and then select the NOR gate. Place this particular NOR gate as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click on components and then select the CMOS which is used for our inverting function. So these are the components which are required in order to realize the full adder operation. Now again click on components and we require the voltage source. So place the voltage source V1, V2 and then V3 which would represent the input for this particular half adder simulation. So right click on V1 and define that as VA which is our input 1 and then right click on V2 and define that as VB and V3 will be VC which represents the carry in and then click OK. Now click on ground and place the ground connection across all the voltage source. Next we have to extend the voltage source. So click on wire and extend the wire across VA, extend the wire across voltage source VB and extend the wire across the voltage source VC. Click on label net, define this as VA and place on the extended wire. Similarly click escape and click on the wire and extend the wire across the first half adder and extend the wire across the second second uh, input of the first half adder. Similarly we have to do the same for the second half adder. Now place the label net VA on the first half adder and place the label net VB on the half adder. Now place the label net across the voltage source VB also. Now click on label net and define this as VC and place the label across the voltage source 
VC and also place the label net VC across the second half adder. Now click on wire and connect the carry of second half adder to the NOR gate and okay so we made a mistake here so uh, delete the uh, wire from carry to input B and connect the wire from sum of half adder 1 to the input B of half adder 2 and from carry connect that to uh, the NOR gate and from the output of NOR gate to the input of the inverter and extend the wire across the output of the inverter. Now click on wire and extend the wire across the terminal sum and place this particular label net across the wire and similarly click on label net and type C out and place this label net across the output of the entire circuit. Now the half adder circuit has been completed. Now we have to define the voltage source. So define the initial value as 0 V on as 1, T delay as 6 nano, T rise as 0, T fall as 0, T on as 2 nano and T period as 10 nano and click OK. This is for the voltage source VA. Okay. Similarly, we have to right click on voltage source VB, click on advanced, click on pulse and define the V initial as 0, V on as 1, T delay as 6 nano, T rise as 0, T fall as 0 and define the T on as 3 nano and define the T period as 10 nano. Similarly, right click on voltage source VC and click on advanced, click on pulse define the initial as 0, define the V on as 1, define the T delay as 6 nano, define the T rise as 0, T fall as 0, T on as 4 nano and T period as 10 nano and click OK. Now click on edit, click on spice derivative. We have to include the BSIM model as we defined for our previous NOR gate and the half adder schematic. So include this particular model and place this on the schematic window. Now go to edit, click on spice analysis and define the stop time since we would like to perform the transient analysis. So define this particular stop time as 100 pico and 30 nano and click OK and place this on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Now run this particular simulation and place the probe across the input A, add plot plane and place the probe across input B. Now you can see this particular waveform. So before we realize this particular full adder circuit, uh, now let us do one thing. Let us uh, write the full adder truth table and uh, we have the full adder truth table. Now run this particular simulation, place the probe across input A click on add plot plane, place the probe across input B, place the add plot plane and place the probe across the carry in. Now click on add plot plane 
Now realize this when all a b c is 1 okay the sum needs to be 1 and the carry out has to be 1 place the probe across the sum you can see when everything is high and click on add and place the carry out when everything is high we have sum as 1 carry out as 1 when the b and c is high we have sum as 0 and carry as 1 which has been realized now when a is 0 b is 0 and c is 1 when a is 0 b is 0 c is 1 sum has to be 1 carry has to be 0 and we have realized this so this is the full adder circuit thank you for watching this tutorial thank you for watching this tutorial I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.